Hey everybody. Every once in a while, a viewer question is something that really deserves its own video, and this is that. About four months ago, over on the tractor top link repair video, a Kathy Lofton asked the following question. What does that top link thingy do? I mean, the thing that you put the pin into, the thing that connects to the top part of your bush hog to your tractor. It looks like you can turn it because, the, because it has a bolt type of thing sticking out of the middle of it. What does turning it do? No one seems to explain what it does except that it connects the tractor to the third pin. Is that right? Is that all it does? Thanks. Well, at the time, I just answered Kathy in a text, but when I went back and saw the video of me doing the garden plot preparation video, I noticed that I didn't have my tiller properly set. So it gives me a perfect opportunity to explain what the top link is all about. First off, a shout out to Tommy Alderman. Uh, he was the first person I consulted that said, you know, I said, help me, help give me some good wording on how to explain to somebody what the top link does. So I talked to him and then I answered Kathy's question in a text. And then it was when I went over to uh, Leesville Aquaponics in South Carolina that I learned that I had my tiller uh, set improperly. So thanks to both of those guys. And because of that, we get this video. So Kathy, what does the top link do? Well, it allows you to control the back to forward pitch of the implement. If you look at that video I just mentioned, you'll notice that the tiller is rotated too far back. Here's a close-up shot of what the skids on my tiller look like. See how the one in the back is the one most parallel to the ground? That's not the way it's supposed to be. It should be this one here in the center that's the most parallel to the ground. In order to make that adjustment, I can't use the lift arms that are a part of the three-point hitch. All those are going to do is raise the implement off the ground or allow me to push the implement down into the soil. It's not going to correct the tilt, the backward to forward tilt. But by adjusting the top link, which you did notice perfectly, it's a double-sided bolt. I'm sure there's a better way of explaining that or a more proper term, but it's connected to the tractor on one side and the implement on the other, and those bolts just connect into a centerpiece. And as you adjust the centerpiece, you either bring those bolts together or push those bolts apart. And so since we have an implement that's connected to a hinge, the two other lift points, the lift arms, it's on a hinge. When we push it one way or pull it the other, we can adjust the tilt. So here's how that looks. I'm going to adjust the tilt of mine by bringing the bolts closer together. I want to change the tilt. That's how I'm going to get the tilt change that I want with this implement. So I'm gonna pull the bolt closer together and watch how it changes the tilt on my implement. Now I can get my implement to sit on the ground properly and I can get the proper use out of my tiller in contact with the ground. Something that's important to note about this and something that I have had to learn being new to operating a tractor is that that is something you're going to have to pay attention to every time you change an implement. Just because I finally get it set properly for my tiller does not mean I can turn around and connect my bush hog and then operate it with the same adjustment that I used on my top link for the other implement. So make sure you're taking the time to make the proper adjustments so you can get the most use out of your implement. I hope that that answered your question more fully, Kathy. I thank you all for taking the time to watch. We'll see you next time.